Hi everyone, it's Becky from Pennies for Paws. Given the fact that we are in hurricane season and actually here on the East Coast, we have a hurricane probably headed our way, um, at least a tropical storm when it gets here. Um, so we want to make sure that you have your emergency kit ready to go. Um, I'll put a link for the ready.gov list, but I want to run through real quick what you need to make sure you have in your kit. First of all, food and water, enough for a at least a three-day supply for you. So it can be this pre-bottled water. I like the little ones just because they're easy to store in little places. And then food, recommended amount is for three days. I actually have seven days ready, and all I did was take these, you know, lunch meat containers and a snack size bag will hold about a cup of food which is Roxanne's one meal in the morning and one in the afternoon so those are all pre-packaged there so I don't have to also take a measuring cup that's pre-measured and if we don't use these within the next two months I'll just end up using them when I feed her regularly and swap it out for new food and then of course a bowl these collapsible bowls are fantastic so one or two of these food and water you want to make sure you have medicine and medical records so I have in a plastic bag her rabies certificate and her most recent receipt from the vet along with some deer cleaner and cotton balls some allergy medicine some treats if we have to give her the medicine so that we can put it in there. You might want to do like one of those little peanut butter cups if your dog loves peanut butter. And I have a pair of gloves and um, a pair of socks if something happens to her, you know, cuts her paw or something. We want to keep it covered. Baby socks, not regular size socks. Um, you also want to have a first aid kit. And this, again, can be purchased online or you could put together your own with a list of what's online and this is just for her so it's all dog safe obviously you want to have a first aid kit for yourself too maybe you keep that in your car you want to make sure you have an ID tag harness extra leash um, I actually went to the store and there is an extra tag in here for her with her name and our phone numbers on it that way when the one that she is currently wearing we'll swap it out and then we'll go get a new one so we have two at all times um, any other important documents that you have for your pet um, and you also want to make sure you have a picture of you and your pet together you probably have them on your phone already um, but have one in you know printed out and I laminated this one as you know proof that she is my dog should we get separated um, cleaning supplies. So I know that bleach um, and these wipes are kind of hard to come by, but if you can snag a few of those or you have some laying around, make sure you have that should you need to clean up a mess. Some paper towels. Um, in a pinch, bleach can also be used to purify water. You want to pay very, atten very close attention to um, what's on the ready.gov website but you can use it to purify water you can also get little um, drinking water tablets to purify the water so just in case you find yourself in a pinch where you're out of your bottled water and you need to have some fresh water to drink um, these tablets i got a hundred of them that says that it will do 75 plus liters and that was like 20 bucks so good to have in case of emergency and some trash bags and then you want to have some familiar items for your dog. Like we have a blanket here, and this is one that you know, she would recognize as being hers. And then a little tug toy, just something that we made. If you've been to any of our Pennies for Paws events, you might have seen us cutting these or making these. So that's what you need to have in your emergency kit. You certainly don't want to be caught without one. So if you're scrambling to get it together this time or you don't have it together, please make sure that you get yourself one so you're prepared for the next emergency.